Designing Global Cooperatives. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 437. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Gene Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our August 8th, 2021 edition of our Week in Progress Update. And today, what I want to talk about, our topic for the day is designing global cooperatives because we are doing just that. Everything that you see in the background of the video here, the seven different sustainable villages, the duplicable city center, and the things that you'll see later on in the, in the background here, the education program, uh, the highest good society model, fulfilled living models, the, high, the uh, open source food infrastructure, the stewardship models, all of that is designed to create a global cooperative of groups, eco-villages, cities, towns, communities working together to create the infrastructure and to open source all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions necessary to create a sustainable world that will benefit us all. And so our idea of designing global cooperatives is to provide, to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this way of living is attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own and to create an evolution of sustainability that to do that through an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability which are food, energy, and housing and combines those with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as highest good approaches, what we call highest good approaches to education, economics, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. Like taking care of the planet, taking care of our, our environment, giving more than we take, supporting that, regenerating our environment, creating these beautiful, lush, rich nature environments that surround the communities that we create so that people have those places to go and to enjoy as a recreational space, to enjoy as a place of relaxation, of meditation, of just pleasure and beauty and joy and enjoyment. You know, to create that. So our idea of designing global cooperatives is to demonstrate that model and to show people like, hey, this is exactly how much it's going to cost. This is exactly how much long time it took us to build it. You know, here's where you buy all the equipment. Here's all the permitted plans and everything. Here's how you work with the county. You know, and even here's software to work in cooperation and collaboration with us as you open source and log and, and track all of your time so that your designs and your development process can be compared with our development process and we can make it even that much better and easier for the next person, working together to make it more effective, more efficient, more, uh, more to give more diversity, more options for other people interested in these things and to provide more data so that somebody building in a very different climate or with a very different type of labor force can look at that and say, oh, okay, this is, this is what happened for us. And so that our process of sharing exactly how much it's going to cost and how long it's going to take can become more and more specific and more and more accurate over time through an accumulation of data and sharing and open sourcing and free sharing that as well. And so we're creating that collaboration software as well. We're beta testing a version of it right now, you know, because we see that as another important foundation of designing global cooperatives is how do we communicate as a global, global groups? You know, we're not going to run the global groups. We're one example and open sourcing and free sharing everything that you see in the background of this video to teach other people how to replicate those aspects as well and to give them a starting point if they'd like to do the same thing or something better, hopefully something better, something different, you know, and then open source and free share their information as well. In those situations, we'll use our software to work in coordination and collaboration with them and all the work that we've done to demonstrate templates of what's necessary to be able to properly open source their adaptations, modifications, their different iterations of what it is that we're doing and design so that people have more and more options to choose from. And so by doing this, we expect to create a suite of open source tools, tutorials and resources and instructions for housing, food infrastructure, education that's as diverse as 
human creativity. Creating what we're creating as the starting point so that human ingenuity and creativity can take it to that next level and branch out and create a diversity of different approaches stemming from this one core model. And so building one community is to be that place, the place that houses the team, our team, that will grow eventually to 2,000 full-time permanent residents and hosting hundreds of thousands of visitors annually and demonstrating just how amazing this lifestyle can be. Like how much fun it can be when we put aside the idea of the everyone for themselves paradigm and instead work in cooperation and collaboration to create something really amazing together. You know, and this is what one community is about is through pooling our resources and through pooling our talents and through pooling our passions and creating the most amazing place to live that we can possibly imagine, collectively imagine together, and open sourcing and free sharing that as the foundation for designing a global cooperative of other groups working together with the same idea, but different versions of that, you know, different flavors of that, so that people can experience those different flavors. You know, and some of them will fail. There's no question that some will fail. But the ones that succeed, and we're designing it so that we will be the first to really demonstrate that, those will become the models. And the ones that fail will still provide information so people understand what it is. And then the successful ones will be places where those, those sustainability highest good refugees can go and join into an organization that's got what they need, that shares their values or whatever their reasons for the other one's not working the solutions will be in other organizations so that those people that still want to be a part of something like this have a place to go. And so we're creating that. And the more versions that we create, the more options that we create, the more options there are for people to choose from and the more successful it will be. And to do that, to create that global cooperative, the biggest foundation is how much fun and awesomeness we can demonstrate in the first example. And every example that comes after that, the more fun we're having, the more enjoyable the environment is, the more we demonstrate that people have more free time and more things to do with that free time and, and the community environment that supports that and what's possible from that, the more successful it will be. And the more we share it, the more we open source and free share and give away what it is that we're doing, that is our marketing plan. Like just keep, give, 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 give it away so that people see what it is that we're creating. Like, wow, that's amazing. We want to come and visit and experience that. Wonderful. We have an ecotourism model for that and everything that you see when you enter in this environment is open source and free shared and designed so it can be replicated. Come, spend time with us, immerse yourself in the environment, become a part of what it is that we're doing just as a visitor and then go create your own version. Or if you're truly inspired and love it and you share our values and want to be a part of world change with us, join us. Come live on the property and create this with us. Build this with us. Help us make it even better. Add your own unique flavor to it as we express ourselves with this creation and this gift to the world of this is what's possible and here's our open source plans for replicating it. That is what our all volunteer team is up to, which at this point has included over 600 volunteers over the last decade, creating everything, everything you see in the background of this video as an open source plan for a sustainable world that will benefit us all, a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. So this is what we're up to. Stick around for another couple of minutes if you'd like to see bullet points on the major components of our project. Um, and thank you as always for watching till the end. If you'd like to see the specifics of what our team accomplished in this last week, visit our written blog. And we have every single week, every one of these videos, just Google the name of this video and um, it'll take you right to this weekly progress update and you can see what we did this week. And you can go back for years and see what we've been working on, what our all volunteer team's been working on for the last uh, so many, many years. And with that said, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, 
part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to High's Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.